There are three main systems of exchange and five main systems of determining the tools to be used to facilitate such exchanges. Those three systems are reciprocity or trade and barter, trading goods and services that are of the same value. Then there is redistribution, secretary distribution, so that every member of a group contributes economically and then receives the amount of goods that they need, usually requires a unified body or third party to control the redistribution, as in the USSR or in ancient Uruk, usually still uses reciprocity or market exchange at times. Then there is market exchange, exchanging goods in terms of monetary value and continuing through a supply and demand price mechanism. And the five systems determining the tools to facilitate exchange are barter, exchanging goods or services directly for goods and services agreed upon through negotiation, representative barter, exchanging goods or services through means of a token representing another good, amount usually decided through negotiation, common in Neolithic through Bronze Age Mesopotamia, as like with Uruk Bula, a clay sphere containing tokens to representing specific goods that the member of society had stored with the temple at Uruk. This works best if a third party ensures the value of the token, as will the rest of these work best if a third party ensures the value of the object. Limited standard, exchanging of goods or services through means of a determined amount of a limited substance agreed upon to represent a specific amount of wealth. This could be exchanging using silver or gold, as like using silver talents in ancient Mesopotamia. Usually, the limited substance is measured by a way to determine the value of the amount, like with gold, but not always as like with beads or turquoise. Turquoise was used as a means of exchange in ancient Mesoamerica, while once European settlers started arriving, they started exchanging beads with the populations of Native Americans, who then began to use those beads as a method of exchange. And that was used as a method of exchange in two ways. This was the most common in history, along with coinage, so coinage was developed later. Coinage, exchanging of goods or services through means of a token coin made of a determined amount of a limited substance agreed upon to represent a specific amount of wealth, with the token insured by a third party. Usually used with limited standard and is derived from it, but with the tokens being insured to be a specific value so as not to require measuring. Most common in history with limited standard. After the development of coins in Lydia, in Anatolia, after the bronzes collapsed and beginning of the Iron Age in the Mediterranean world, a subform exists where the token is made of a different substance but represents an amount of the limited substance. Was common for modern currencies before the 1920s and 40s with the Great Depression, which ended the gold standard. So. The U.S. dollar used to be supported by gold, but now it's not. Now it is currency. Currency, exchange of goods or services through means of a token made by a third party to represent a specific amount of wealth compared to the total wealth of said third party, usually a nation, most common system in the world today after the ending of gold standards. And so these are five different types of tools and how they are determined that can be used in all three of those systems, the most common in the market parts of economies that consist in the system. And no economy is purely one, or purely only has one of these systems in it. They often have many, well, except for maybe a reciprocity system that only has barter, but that's an exception. As an example of how you can put all these in there, you could have a boy gets food and money redistributed to him by his parents. There you have redistribution economy. He goes to Walmart, a market economy, and exchanges the money, a currency, for Magic the Gathering cards, in which includes a code for a limited edition card. That code is a token of a good. 
He enters the code, a token of a good, so he might receive the card. Later, he plays magic with a friend and trades some of his new cards for some of his friends, therefore bartering for them. In a trade and barter economy, his grandpa later gives him some heirlooms, a few gold coins made by some minting organization, but not by a government. And then some gold objects, maybe some jewelry or something like that. When the boy is older, he needs money, so he exchanges the gold coin, the coinage, for money at the bank. Therefore, exchanging his coinage for currency. The exchange of the gold objects then occurs at like a pawn shop. Therefore, exchange the limited substance for money or, co or currency. Therefore, all those systems have now just occurred in the same economy. But you can use them put many mixes and many different ways, but these are all the ways you can set up your systems of exchange in your world you build. Like and subscribe.